come. You're finally awake. I was kind of a little worried that I bumped you in the head a little bit too hard. Yes, it's in your dad. Where are you? You're in my old bunker I used to have. I had some food, supplies, just in case tornadoes or anything else came in to do any harm. But now, I realize there is a harm. I had you tied up for a reason. Cause I know you're gonna try to make a run for it. What's the arm? Your boyfriend. He's up to no good. Don't you understand? I'm trying to protect you. He's not going to take you away from me. You're a beautiful, attractive woman. And men these days just want someone like you. And I'm not allowing that. I can't keep you here like this. I can. And I will. I know what you're thinking. This is not a fuse. I'm protecting you. He's up to no good. Don't you understand? There's much more men out there for you to get. It's not just him. You're not getting out for the last time. You're not getting out. You try to get out. There's traps outside that leave you put to sleep, make you paralyzed, or just gasses you until you fall asleep. There's tranquilizers, sleeping gas, and there's some needles that make you paralyzed. At least for an hour. So I suggest you won't go out there. It's a final resort. That's when I come in. But that's for your pathetic boyfriend. I love you. As a father, I need to protect you. And you're just my daughter. I need you safe. No, I'm doing too much, I'm not doing too much, I'm doing the best I can to protect you from your boyfriend, I told you to break up with him, in fact, I broke up with him for you, what's happened from that, what did you do? You did something, obviously. So you told him the truth of what happened. So you had the audacity to disobey me. Go over to his house last night. In the middle of the night. And apologize to him. He said that I did it. 
It's kind of weird. Now that I think about it. You came home around 7 o'clock in the morning. You stayed over to his house last night, didn't you? What were you doing over there? No. <laughs> you weren't doing that. I know you were not. <sighs> I'm disappointed that you disobeyed me. Not only that, you decided to just have, you know what I mean. You're not pregnant, are you? Are you? I don't believe you. I'll check to make sure. But first, it seems like I'm gonna have to pay a visit to your boyfriend. He wants to play dirty. I'll play much more dirtier. That's for you. I'm punishing you. <laughs> no more phone. I broke that. No more glasses. And let me cut off some of your hair, too. No, no. You're getting punished. This is what happens when you don't listen to your parents. Now, how do you feel? Sad. Well, instead of feeling sad, you should think about what you've done. Disobeying me after I told you no. Think about what you've done while you're in here. And like I said, don't even bother trying to get out. And plus there's a key that you need to find. And I have it. So you're not getting out either way. I'll come back soon. You stay here. <laughs> 